In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to manage your home finances using OpenOffice Calc. Um, there's really two options, uh, two ways of doing this. Either you can build your own budget sheet from scratch, um, or you can use a ready-made sheet from the web that you can download. Um, so this, this one is pair budget. Um, and if you look in the tutorial in the magazine, the URL of where to get it from um, is, is in there. And this is just a, a ready-made budget sheet. Um, so it's got um, all the all the all the formulae that calculate that do all the calculations. They're already put in here for you, and it's already set out. Um, it looks really complicated, but it's it's actually not that bad once you get into it. And I'm going to kind of take you through how it works. Um, or or you can alternatively you can just kind of take some ideas from this one um, and and make your own simple one that's kind of um, tailored exactly to what to whatever you want to do um so so maybe you've maybe you've never even used a spreadsheet before so i can just i'll just kind of explain how it, how it works and i'll just show you some kind of basic spreadsheet skills that you can use to um to to build your your budget sheet um it's really just kind of a grid of of cells each box is called a cell um you can see there if i click on that cell it's this is cell number d d14 that's the cell reference um and so it's just it's just like on on a map um and and say so for example here if i click on this one in into any cell you can type numbers and words but you can also type in formulae and the formulae uh, make it so that the spreadsheet will do the calculations for you so you don't you don't ever need to use a calculator so if i just click on this one here um here's here's the contents of the cell down here but up here this is how the computer sees the cell so the computer sees that it has this formula this formula um, in here and then in the cell the computer puts the output of the formula so this formula it's it's a sum formula so all it does is just adds up um, everything on row 34 between b and k so it's just b b all the way to k all the way along there everything in there is added up and the output is here well there's nothing in here so it's coming up zero but if there were some things in here they would be added up and the answer would be put in there. Um, so I think I'll just go on to a, a blank spreadsheet and just um, show, show you kind of some things you can do. So if I just type a number in here, I just type three and then I press enter, that's kind of confirmed the, the input five in here and press enter. Um, now if I want to change what's in there, if I want to completely overwrite it, I can just click on it and start typing and it overwrites it. But Say say I had say I had a word in here. Let's type a word in, um, and say I want to edit that word. If I just start typing, it'll overwrite it. But if I click here on the input line, then I can edit it rather than deleting it all. Okay, so I'm just going to set up the the basic sort of table that that you see in the magazine that um, that that you might want to use for a really kind of basic budget sheet. Um, I'm just I'm just typing in the words and then I'm pressing tab to go on to the next cell because um, that, that moves you through cells like that. Um, so when when you've kind of filled this up with numbers, you might want to you might kind of lose the headings and you really want to be able to see the headings. So to make those stand out, um, you can use this fill tool here to to color them in a lot of the time people when they make spreadsheets they use really bright colors like that one or that one um and i think it's a really bad idea because it's really garish and it's really hard to look at it's really hard in the eyes so i think it's a better idea to use a pastel color pastel colors like that one because that's kind of easy to look at um maybe you'd also like to make the font a bit bigger there and if you do that you can see that this word has gone over the barrier of the cell it's become too big so to fix that, you can change the size of the column. So I'm just hovering the mouse over this dividing line here. I'm just dragging it out. So that's changed the size of this whole column. You can do it also with the rows. You can make the rows bigger or smaller like that. Another thing that that is useful to know is um, that if you've if you've kind of put a lot of a lot of stuff in here and then you find you want to insert a column, you can just right click here and choose insert columns, and it pops one in there. And you can do the same down here, insert row, and it will insert one between the ones that you already have. It's kind of useful to know. Um, another, another useful one is this little box down here. Um, 
it's it's what it does is it f- it fills the cells that you highlight with um with a series so if i drag it down like this it's just counted on from four it's just gone four five six seven eight nine um or if you did say if you did another kind of pattern like two four six that's the pattern if i highlight all of those and then i just drag it down then it will continue that that pattern for you um it also does it with days of the week so if i type uh, maybe it hasn't recognized that if i type monday and drag it down it will um it will continue the days of the week for you or the months of the year that sort of thing that's really useful um it'll also do it that way if you drag it that way um so now i'm going to show you how to use formulae i'm going to show you how to use um a really simple function called sum um, so to tell the spreadsheet that you are inputting a formula, you first start off with an equals. So now it's looking for a formula. It's not, not looking for a number or a word. Um, and then I'm going to type sum. Um, and now I'm going to open the parenthesis and I'm going to tell it what I would like to add up. So I'm going to click on this one here and it, it brings a two into, into the cell. Um, and next you put a colon and, um, that, that's to specify the range. Um, and now I could click here if I wanted. And that gives me A17, or here, A16. Or I could have just typed in A16 if I'd wanted to, but I find it easier to click. And close the parenthesis, um, and then press enter. And that's given us the sum between A2 and A16. Every number that's in there has been added up, and that, that is the total. And if you click here to edit the formula, you can see it brings up this handy, this handy box to show you what the formula is doing. And if you like, you can get this down here, and you can drag it down there to include all those. Now, there are loads of formulae um, built into calc, um, loads of different functions. So instead of writing sum, you, 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 you could write something different, you know, something that, that performs a different function. And you can look in the help and find out um, about all the different, the different kinds of functions that you need. But for budgeting, it tends to be just, um, it tends to be just adding up, um, you know, basic functions that, that you need. Um, you can also type in, I'll just show you some really basic things that you can do. Um, you can just type in basic sums. So say I want to talk about A2, oops, A2, and I want to do it times, times A3, like that. That's A2 times A3, or just, or you can just do it divided by seven. Um, just use the normal operators, the um, uh, asterisk for multiplication, the slash for divide. Um, so just, just any kind of sum that you want, you can, you can type it in. Um, it's a good idea um, to use parenthesis so that the formula does what you expect. So if you're doing something really long, so if you're going to do like um, A2 plus A7 um, divided by A5, um, it's a good idea to put these parenthesis around little phrases so you know that it's going to do it's going to add them first and then divide by a5 it's not going to um divide a7 by 5 and then add a2 on you know whatever's inside the parenthesis happens first um so if you've got something really long it's a, it's a good idea to use those so that's basically how you how you um how you use simple formulae in a spreadsheet the formula appears up here and the output appears in the cell. Um, another another kind of basic spreadsheet function I'd like to show you that's that's useful is these sort buttons here. So I can highlight these. Um, I can highlight these numbers, and then I can do sort ascending or sort sort descending, um, and I'll just reorder those for you. That's kind of that's kind of a useful kind of a useful one. Um, and beyond that, um, you should also notice that um, each each spreadsheet is actually like a book. So this is this is like a page of the book, um, and here are the other pages. So each sheet, you've got lots and lots of sheets here. Each sheet is is a worksheet. It's like a page of a book, and you can add extra sheets on here. You can just right click, um, insert sheet, um, and you can pop in as many sheets as you like, and you can give them names. So just right click on it, rename sheet, um, and then call, call it whatever, whatever you like. Um, so that, that's, this is kind of like a book and, and, and these are the pages and you can reorder them if you need to just kind of grab one and drag it, 
kind of drag it along and um, the order will change. If you want to reference a cell in another sheet, um, that's, that's possible. I'll show you how to do it. So say we've got this sheet here and it's got a number three in there. Um, and then I have my formula here and, and I would like to reference that cell in sheet four. Um, so all I do is I'm just going to click on sheet, sheet four, click on that and go back and there it's inserted the reference to that cell. So let's just finish with that. And it's brought the three up because that's all I've got in my formula. It's just that cell. Um, and you can see the format's really simple. It's just the name of the sheet dot cell reference. And that's how you refer to cells that are in, in other worksheets. That's kind of useful. Now, hopefully with those kind of simple skills that I've showed you, you, um, you should be able to build a really simple budget sheet um, if you want to. But you can also download um, this pair budget, which is which is a ready-made one. Um, and it, it, it looks bad. It looks really complicated, but it's it's OK. Um, once, once you get into it, you find that it's 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 not really that complicated. Um, you click on the start here sheet and it comes with um, these instructions of how to use it. So it, they've the way that they've um, they've organized things is they've divided everything down into regular expenses. So these are things that you pay every single month, um, your rent and whatnot. Um, irregular ones, so you'll pay them some months and not other months, and there'll be different amounts every time. And then variable expenses, which are just your kind of general spending, your general shopping. Um, so the first thing you have to do is fill in the categories that you would like, and you fill them in here. So then the other sheets, the other worksheets in, in, the, in the spreadsheet will look back to what you've written in here. So it's actually looking at what you type in here. Um, so set that up the way that you want to organize it. Um, and then next, you have to set up uh, a budget for how much you would like to spend in, in every category. So put your rent in there, um, put, put in what you think you ought to be spending on all of these things. And then it ought to come, then it tells you here, um, it ought to kind of add up to roughly your income or less than your income um, because that's the total of, that's the total amount that you're looking to spend every month. So once you've filled in um, these parts here, uh, you then have to go to go to the sheet for the current month um, and then you just fill in your your day-to-day -day spending here. If you use these scroll buttons, you can go down to this example month um, and you can see here where they've they've filled in um, just day-to-day -day spending, so shopping, um, petrol, stuff like that. They've just filled it in. So, so this is the day of the month. This is the day of the month here, and then on that day, you fill in the various, the various money that you've spent. Um, and then if you go along to the end here, um, this column is for your income. So, if you've got a steady income, say a salary, then you just put the amount per month. Just pop it in any any um, box here, any cell here. Um, just pop in your your income. If you have different, if you earn different amounts every month, just put in the amount that you've earned. So that'll be the total that you've earned down there. Um, and then you can see here it adds up the total. If you look here, um, these are the total spent on all the different things. Um, this was the amount that you budgeted for, the amount that you were supposed to spend, um, and then the difference. So if, if you've saved, then it, it just comes up like that. And then if you've gone over, then it comes up in red. Um, and then this will give you the overall picture. So the overall amount that you budgeted for, that you spent. Um, and then overall here, you can see they've saved $19. $19. Um, and, and if you look at these little red dots, these are tool tips. Um, if you hover over them, it's just uh, a comment for the cell. So it tells you what's in each cell. So that's really useful everywhere you see a little red dot. Um, but th this bit here is just for the variable expenses. Those are for your sort of general spending. Um, here's your regular expenses just in this box here, your rent and whatnot. Um, here's your irregular expenses. Um, so you've bud budgeted a flat amount for that every month, but then it's not going out regularly. Um, so you just put those ones in here. And then at the bottom, it gives you um, an overall view. So here's your total income, everything you earned, total everything including your all kinds of expenses and then whether you went over or under budget here 
Um, so this just gives you the the overview at the end. Um, so that's this this pair budget really is kind of it's really complete. Um, unfortunately, it's in dollars. Um, you could change it, um, but if you change the format of the cells, if you change the currency to pounds, it will kind of go on every every numbered cell. So you'll see pound signs in here. So it's you could just leave it as dollars and just you know know yourself that it's pounds. Um, and that's it. So whichever one you want to do, if you want to download this or if you want to make your, your own one, um, hopefully uh, I've given you just some basic spreadsheet skills that will, will enable you to do that.